This is how I feel. So guys, can you see my face? I'm sweating. Martinez, moi Hey guys, my name is La Martinez and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time to stay by and watch my videos, you're most welcome. And if it's not your first time, you're one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your love, your support. I really appreciate all your support through my channel. And if it's your first time to stay by and watch my videos, please don't forget to like, to share, and also to subscribe to my channel for more videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about two different ways of steaming your face. There's a lot of ways of steaming your face, but in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about two different ways of steaming your face, which I normally use or I normally practice or I normally do to steam my face. So I'm gonna show you two different ways of steaming my face. Number one, I'm gonna show you how I steam my face with this product here, which is a little bit costly. And then, then the second method is gonna be the cheapest one, which you can only do with anything that you have in your kitchen. So I'm gonna show you how these things look like, this um, steamer, and how do I use it. So I already used it, I think so twice. And then uh, because I just ordered it, it was like a um, hundred and something dollars, hundred and fifty dollars. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. It's a little bit, you know, costly comparing to the one I'm gonna show you as a second method. So um, this is how it comes. Comes in a box. We have a. Uh, let me try to show you. It's one for the power. And also it comes with this uh, three different lid for the central oil. If you are one of those people who use central oil, any type of central oil for your face, it comes with a hair net for your hair. If you want to use it for your hair, it goes like this and then all like this. Just rub it there and then hook it there. So, um, just like this, all right? It comes like this. So I think so you can do it like this if you have a more hair. So, and then uh, this is the steamer. So this is a catalog, it comes with a catalog. Please read the catalog before using this product. Because they have a warning, whatever you want to do, be careful. Before using this, you need to read it. I already read it, and because it's not the first time to use it, I already use it twice, and then I know exactly how to use it. And uh, I just want to let you know, be careful while you're using this product. Anyway, there's everything in the book. They already talked to you about everything that you need to do. You need to be very careful while you're using this product. Otherwise, um, you may burn your face and then you may end up to have a bad face injury. So with this um, facial steamer, it's Vanity Planet. This is how you call it, Vanity Planet. It comes like this. So here it's a lid that you can adjust it if you want the steam to come right in your face or you want it a little bit up or on the side, not on the side, but it just up and down. So over here is a tank where you can put your water. How do you open this? You just push it right up like this. And then you open it. So this is, um, so this is the first steamer that I'm using <clears throat> to steam my face. I don't use this one most of the time, but I'd normally use the way we grown up like a cover yourself with the, you know, with the towels and steam your face. That's the things I normally do to steam my face. But this one, because um, they was doing a promotion of this and then people was like, it's very nice, um, give you a beautiful glowing skin. That's the reason why I decided I was like, let me just go and buy this just in case I want to travel or I want, you know, just to use it so quick. But 
Besides that, the second one is the best method for me ever because you just don't need to spend money. You don't need to spend your money. You just have to, you just don't need to spend your money. You just get anything from the kitchen and use it as a steamer. So the second method I'm going to show you, it's going to be this one here. You need a bowl. You can get any big one, a small one. You need, a, you need something like this, aluminum folder, to cover your bowl with that. You need a hot water. Beside the hot water, you need something like a toothpick, which is gonna you're gonna pop to put some hole for the steam to come to your face. And also, you need something like a you need a towel to cover your face. So to let the steam get in your face. So um, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So this is the hot water. But with the steamer, this one here, the Vanity Planet, you don't need a hot water. You need a cold water to put it in the tank. And make sure when you put it in the tank, let me show you. Uh, when you put it here, you have to be at least not the maximum, between the maximum and minimum. So don't don't overfill this tank here, because the more you fill it, it's gonna start popping the hot water right on your face. You need to be very careful while you're using this product here. It's very dangerous. At the same time, make sure you read the instruction before using this product here. So I'm going to fill it with water, show you how I'm using it, fill the tank with the water. This is a cold water or sugar. So like this, it's over, it's maximum, you need to take it off. All right. So the water have to be like this in the tank, between the maximum and minimum. So make sure you cover it. You need to be very careful. Read the instruction before using this. So, make sure you close it very tight. Après ça, after that, put it inside. Like this. Until you hear the, the click, click sound. It's in inside. All right, guys, I'm going to connect this to the PowerPoint and then um, leave it. If it's it's going to start working, okay? Let me try to make it a little bit higher because my table is a little bit low. I'll make sure it's on top of this to just give me a higher. Okay. So I'm going to put it like this and put it on. I always make sure I turn it up. I don't want it to come straight to my face. And later on, I can bring it down because you never know anything can pop on your face. So you have to be very careful. All right, guys. There you go. It's coming. There you go. Like this, you can keep moving your face left to right because you want the steam to get into your face. Make sure I don't put your face close to it because uh, you never know anything can go wrong anytime. This is how I steam my face. As you can see, it goes for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, it's gonna stop at this. But after 15 minutes, it's gonna stop by itself. So you don't need to do anything. After 15 minutes, it will just completely stop. So this is an expensive way of steaming your face. 
but the second method i'm gonna use i'm gonna show you is gonna be the cheapest one it's not gonna cost you anything at all so you're gonna use the only thing you had in you have in the kitchen to steam your face Before steaming your face, make sure you wash your face before doing this. So to achieve the best result, you have to make sure your face is nice and clean. I normally do this like twice weekly. It's not every day. So twice or three times in a, in a week. I don't do this every day. Because I really, really have a bad skin. Like, you know, I have a acne, I have a bad uh break out all the time so i need to make sure i take care of my face no matter what i know i do i always having a breakout it's really really hard to control my hormone so i think so i need to go and see the specialist you know so they can put me under the drugs so this is how i steam my face with this um vanity planet product it's very nice one it's very beautiful So after 15 minutes, it's going to completely stop. You don't need to do this over and over. So the treatment is okay for 15 minutes, that's it. With the second method, I think so, I'm, I'm going to sweat more than this because um, it's all about sweating, opening your pores, give you the beautiful glowing looking skin. But, and I think so, this one doesn't really, really make me to sweat a lot. Like, you know, uh, the second method. See how it goes. Because I know with the second method, I normally sweat. So make sure you just keep turning your head left to right because you want the steam to go over. I used to feel shame before to show my face because of my acne. I just decided like, you know what? Let people judge you the way they want. No matter what, people will always judge you. So you are there out there for people to judge you. So I don't really care anymore about what people said about my parents. But I used to feel very shameful about showing people my face. I'll be always covering with the act with you know makeup. But somehow I feel like you know what? Mm, get lost, people. So after 15 minutes, it's gonna stop completely. As you can see, start reducing the pressure of the steam As you can see, the pressure start reducing. I think so. It's nearly, nearly fifteen minutes. <sighs> I 
finally it's 15 minutes it stopped by itself so you have to wait until it's um, treat 15 minutes it will stop completely as you can see my face <laughs> there's not much sweat but a little bit just a little bit done it's not really really lucky too much I don't know if you can see my face it's not really really like a, the way you can sweat it's not it's just like a little bit um it's not really wet it's oh, this is a face way of using your of steaming your face so make sure make sure you let it cool down before washing this or before cleaning this so do not touch it when it's hot i will put it aside i don't need to do anything to it but guys you need to be very careful with this one here so i'm gonna unplug it from the things and then uh, that's it so it's done as you can see still bringing the steam this is the last one so be careful before you trying to wash this because it's still hot so i normally leave at least like a 45 minutes is all right 25 minutes is all right but you just have to be very careful while you're washing this guys after using the steamers i always go back and then use this because by the time you use steaming your face your pores is going to be open it will be good for you to use a demo clean to bring to take all the dark like the blackhead out from your face like i do have a lot of acne as you can see my face is very worse it's getting but it wasn't worse um before i think so um uh, right now it's getting bad again it's like my pimples is always up and down up and down sometimes you will say it, it's already vanished my face become a little bit clear but then add, and then after that it just come back you wake up, you find yourself like you have more than 10 pimples in your face. You feel like, you know, what, what the heck is this? So that's what I normally do, guys. After steaming my face, I go back with this um, Dema Clean. And then just try to take all the blackheads, you know, from my skin, from my face. But anyway, if I have a breakout like I do right now, I'm not going to do anything to my face. I will just steam my face and make sure I wash my face after that. Or if I want, I put some mask on and leave it for 15 minutes to wash it off. And then that's it. Put my moisturizer and that's it. So after my steamer, I always go ahead and use this. This is how it looks like. To drag all the oily from your skin this is how it looks like it normally come with its forehead it looks like this I'm not gonna use it right now on my face but I'll do the video about this one later because right now as you can see my skin is very sensitive I have a fresh pimples which I don't want to disturb it I will leave it the way it is and then I will try to do a video for you guys next time with this product here so the second method is gonna be like we're gonna use we need a bowl I'm boiling the water you need a folder which you're gonna pull your bowl with like this and then let me cover this i don't want it to be damaged first so. so you need a bowl you need some Pick. in the folder cover the, the bowl with very easy natural way of steaming your face You're, you don't need a lot of things you don't need expensive things to you know to steam your face something that naturally steam your face with it something you can have it in your house you don't need too much expensive stuff you don't need to you know to spend your money and you just need a towel i need, i meant to have a big one 
seriously because this one is very small cover your head let me try to push my chair because you really really did it and uh, your face like this all right so i'm waiting for the water to get boiled and then uh see how we're gonna do the first method i didn't really really sweat that much it wasn't really sweat it was just like you like you pat your face with water let's see the second method if it's gonna be very good i'm gonna sweat more than the first method the first one is expensive one and then um the second one is just a cheaper one which is cost you nothing so i'm gonna do the same video in my language which is lingala i love it a lot so um this is the english version because I have some of my subscribers as well, they do speak English, they don't speak, you know, Lingala. So I do this video as well because I want everybody to be satisfied with my, you know, with my channel, please. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe. So this is how you do it. This is the hot water. It's ready. Put the hot water here. Make, be careful, please make sure you cover this i said as i said it before you need to be very careful anything can happen it's very dangerous method make sure you put it in a safe place this one is not really safe because i put it on top of the box it may to be on the flat 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 um place where it can't move so beside that now i'm gonna cover my face inside of the towel this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start poking poking it because i want the steam to come right on my face so and i'm gonna cover my face with this one sorry guys i'm covering my face right now okay and i'm gonna do this for 15 minutes as well see how it goes I'm poking this. I couldn't bring the camera in, sorry guys. But at least you can hear the way I'm poking with this. We have to leave it for 15 minutes. So guys, can you see my face? I'm sweating. You can see watering. It's even less than 15 minutes. This is only 10 minutes. You can see the sweat. So, between these two methods, between the hot water and this one here, I prefer this one is more, it works more quick and faster than this one here as you can see guys my face is really really watering here so between these two methods here between this and this one the traditional one i prefer the traditional one because this is work very quick you sweat very quick you open your pores very quick comparing to this one here this one here is just expensive very fancy it does work it's very good as well just in case you want to look very expensive you can go for this one but for me i prefer more this one here it's not because i'm from village but because um we used to use this method back home when we was young we was when we was little in case you are sick you can get different leaves and put it inside and cover yourself after a few hours you already feel good because it will make you to sweat and bring all the sickness 
out of your body but i love this method it's very good one comparing to the you know the rich the expensive so but anyway in all these two it works the same you open your pores you make it give you the beautiful glowing looking skin that you prefer keep doing this like it's three times in a week not every single day i prefer to do it twice or three times in a week to get the best results it doesn't mean like you know what when you do this you get the results straight away at least you have to be patient with this method to achieve the beautiful looking skin so guys this is the only thing i can say about this method here the tradition method and then model methods that um it works very good the tradition one work much quicker then uh, then this one here so overall guys if it's your first time you know even though with the traditional one i normally go back as well if my skin wasn't very sensitive like i didn't have a new breakout and i didn't have a new fresh acne or pimples on my face i should go back and use this to remove the dark spots uh not the dark spot the black head on my face but because my face is very bad right now i'm not gonna do anything to it i will just leave it the way it is after this i'm gonna wash my face i'm not gonna use my face mask today i'm gonna wash wash my face and then just apply my acne product on my face and that's it thank you guys for watching and i will see you in another video don't forget to like this video like share and also subscribe to my channel for more videos for those of you who doesn't speak english i'm gonna get back to you in a lingala's version to do the same video for you and then uh, i'll see you in another video bye guys i love you guys all mm -hmm. cheers man